We've got all four of our pistons installed. Uh, haven't torqued down the caps yet. Uh, the rings are there, everything's installed, the uh, dippers are in place. And because the engine's in this position, I'm going to go ahead and install our uh, transmission bands. And we have removable ears, and the removable ear goes to the driver's side of the car. That'd be the water outlet. And it's a simple task, but I, I just use a pair of C-clamp vice grips and just clamp them on. And, you know, you might want to use zip ties or you may want to try to install the tool that they use that held them all in place, but I find it's just as easy to come in here and just safety wire this up and it'll be there until I'm ready to put the pedals in and snip and I use a small safety, small uh, thin safety wire because I'm going to have to get the pedal shaft in there and then snip one in and get these pried out. a challenge. Uh, I'm installing the bands dry. Some people some people think you ought to pre-soak these things before you even rivet them. If you, if, good luck with that. Uh, it's oily, it's slimy, it's slick. Uh, some people think that when you go put these on the drums you ought to go ahead and soak them before you put them in place. I don't. Uh, my technique is uh, uh, once the engine's in the car, dump a quart of oil down through the front, leave the inspection cover off and these bands are loose and dump a little oil on it, rotate the engine a little bit, dump a little oil on it, rotate the engine and just soak it that away for the second quart, third quart up front and start the engine up after you've got you know, everything buttoned up and once the engine just starts to run, dump that fourth quart down through the through the oil fill there. There's a lot of oil, a lot of splashing and gets everything lubricated for sure. It's just my way of doing it. Continue on, and one thing I might point out is you don't want that band so tight that you can't move it, okay? Because when we go into the hogshead, we'll have to kind of shove them around a little bit. Another thing is, is don't wire them so tight that you can't get the spring in. 